to change the shirt under their no offensive speech prohibition. Is this enforceable? Um, uh, well, I know it's offensive. Is it offensive? Well, at my high school, we had to sign a code of conduct when we started the school year. For public school? Yeah, we had to a sign code a code of conduct. Yeah. Did you go to school in Nazi Germany? No. No, you're not. But there were rules about behavior, like discrimination. Agreed. Or, How, or wearing beer signs on shirts. Yeah, In Tinker versus Des Moines, the United States Supreme Court in 1968 said a kid can wear a black armband to school and protest the Vietnam War. Some kid doesn't believe it's a good thing to, to be gay. Why can't they wear a T-shirt? It's offensive to some and not to others. The glory of the First Amendment is we are not going to worry about its viewpoint. We're going to protect the right of people to say things with which we disagree and disagree vehemently. Otherwise, we have a country like most countries don't have First Amendments. We're quite an unusual. Now go travel around the country, around the world. Because if you want to run an efficient government, don't have a free press. You want an efficient government, don't have a free press. Because efficiency is equated with dictatorship, which limits free speech. We honor free speech. It's getting crazy. We have Facebook and we have everything electronic. How many, how many text messages are going to be sent in this country in the next uh, 12 months? Uh, too many. I don't know about that. I, I think uh, ideas. Uh, I'm going to tell you the answer that Google just estimated. 32.4 trillion. Ooh, you want to know how big a trillion is? I'm going to help you. You know what 60 seconds equals a minute? You know that. If we had a million seconds, that would equal 12 days. It takes 12 days for a million seconds. A trillion seconds? 30,000 years. That's how big a trillion is. 32.4 trillion. A large percentage of them from my daughter Megan, by the way. 3,400 text messages last month. 20 years old, 3,400. How can you have 3,400 text messages? And she said, Dad, lots of my friends have more. Okay. I said, so, I started, so I said I wanted to read them. So I, she, she, my daughter puts me up to it. She said, she, she said, fine. And she gave me access to her account, and I read, not all 3,400, but I read a, a sampling. Very little communication was going on. <laughs> all right, we're weighing and balancing. So let's talk about getting it right. You want to stay out of my office. You want to exercise your First Amendment rights and not get sued successfully, let's get it right. Training your perception to get it right. That's the challenge. Training your perception. So, you've got to trust your own two eyes. Do you trust your own two eyes? Do you trust your own two eyes? Is eyewitness testimony accurate? Not at all. The fact of the matter is, is that you trust your own two eyes, but you didn't realize that these dots come off. That's how it works. No big surprise here. So part of getting it right and exercising your personal rights is training yourself to get it right. You want to know how to stay out of my office? I'm going to tell you right now. Three words. Be a skeptic. I'm going to say it again. Be a skeptic. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't get twisted away by somebody, PR person, trying to get you to write the story your way. And by the way, like any good high school science experiment, have a hypothesis as a writer and then test it. But when you begin to believe your hypothesis at the beginning, you ignore contrary information because you want to really write that story. And if it doesn't write itself correctly, you ignore it. And you know why people come in my office? Because what they've done is they've done a story and the facts begin to tell them something else, and they ignored it. They pressed the delete key on contrary facts that didn't fit their model. If you're a skeptic, I don't think I've ever met a great reporter who was not a skeptic. They're also sometimes difficult. That's another story. That's why reporters lose a lot of trials, because the jurors don't like them. That's not Trust your own two eyes. Therefore, you're not going to be like this bicyclist. This is what too many journalism, journals are who come to my office. They are, they're doing their story and not noticing what's right in front of them. It happens. People make mistakes. That's why the First Amendment is an eraser on the pencil. You make mistakes. All right, second, you have to understand complexity. I asked Janet a question during her session, which is, how do you get something when you don't know it? You know how people make mistakes? They get it wrong because they don't understand it. They don't understand it. 